Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome to Never Alone Homestead. My name is Cammie, and I'm so glad that you're here with me today on this video. Y'all, it is like about 90 degrees out here. We've had rain, 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 and now it's turned to, so, to be so humid and hot. But after so much rain, I am welcoming the heat. Listen, guys. The flowers are doing awesome with all this rain. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they just awesome? They, they just bring color. They just bring life. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? You know, many times we think about gardens. And yet, we forget about the flowers sometimes. We get so busy with our gardens. And so, I just wanted to take a moment for the flowers. Because, today, I mean, this year they are so, so pretty. They're just so beautiful. This is at my kitchen window so I can look out and see. I can look out and see all these flowers that's here. The sun, as you can tell, the sun is shining very bright. And these down here, which makes, you know, video a little bit, a little bit difficult. But sometimes having the sunlight, it really brings out the color in your fruits and your vegetables and to the flowers. These right here are just some type of daisy. I actually got them from my mom's house and they come back year after year because these seeds fall to the ground and you can actually save the seeds but they have so many colors that it just makes it absolutely beautiful look at that so when I come out here on the deck a lot of times I'm just walking through but it's so enjoyable to know that all these flowers are just radiating glory radiating beautiful and they just make, you know, when you come out on your deck, it just makes everything just seem to be complete. Even if you don't get time to sit down on your deck, or if you do, then you look around, you're just like, you feel like that you're into this beautiful, beautiful garden. You know? So, guys, I'm going out here. Oh, let me show you this. So, down here is where, I've said before in another video, this is where I come out the kitchen door. Then I'll come and throw like, you know, vegetable scraps and stuff like that. Not meat. But this is a place where I have got garlic. I have got um, some tomatoes. This tomato plant right here, it has 17 tomatoes on it. That one down there is a little bit behind. But you know what? I'm here to tell you if your plant is, looks like it's not doing right, don't pull it up. Just give it some time. Usually it will work itself out. It is now starting to take off. And I'm probably going to get some of those leaves out. There's also garlic down there. Now, in my past video of growing apple trees from seeds from grocery store, uh, bought apples. I had this apple tree showing into that video. And it has, I trimmed like two feet off of it. I would think about two, two and a half, about two feet. Something like that. Say two feet. And it is now just branching out. And my game plan was that those limbs would kind of go out and not straight up. So that when it does produce fruit, it will be able to hold it. And not, not, not the branches break off. Now guys, check that out. You see how beautiful that is? You know, so I would encourage you this year while you're on your homestead, not just growing all the fruits and vegetables, you know, but take a little time and throw some flowers around you. Because if you th throw some flowers around you, you won't feel like you're working all, all the time. You, you get something other to, you know, I enjoy homestead and I enjoy the gardening, but it is work. But when you have already put your seeds out for your flowers or have them on your deck, it just gives a peace of mind around the homestead. It just gives a, a, a whole lot of beauty. 
because sometimes you can look and there's just a whole lot of work. Um, Y'all have seen my past videos. If not, go back on the video. You can do this. The gate is up. And these chickens are loving it. I am loving it. You know, it's, it's been so nice. As you can see, they're into the shade. So it gets the, the hottest point at, point at time of the day, or hot, hottest time of the day. They're in the shade. If not in the middle of the morning, um, they, are, they can get up under there. But this thing has been such a blessing. I am so glad that I launched out and made a decision to take the stuff around my home and use it. I have very little invested in it. I've never built something this big before in my my life, but it just shows if you put your mind to it, you can you can do it. So I love coming out here, especially with all this rain here into the south, that I don't have to step in chicken um, poop, you know. Or sometimes it, when it's raining so much, you can't even step in there because you're just gonna about just about fall down because it's so slippery. So y'all, I'm so happy about this garden. Finally, you know, it's doing awesome. It really is. It's taken off. Look at all. Look at all those blooms. There's tons of cucumbers on there. Tons of them. I mean, there's one down there I missed this morning. Hopefully, I've got it where you can see it. You know? Um, yeah, they're everywhere. So, what I did this morning is that I pulled some of the leaves off and threw them down so that I could see where these cucumbers are at. Uh, not only for, just for the bees too, but I see two that another one I miss because you get so many leaves on that sometimes you start missing them. And so this year I am pulling the leaves off and the tomatoes, the sun is so bright here, but the tomatoes are doing so great. And they're just, in a couple of days, they will be ready to pick. Some of them's gonna be ready to pick. So I know you've seen it in my past videos, but I just wanna bring you a little update. Look at that. Now, once that's cut, it's going to be like sandwich size. They're, they are just, you know, just turning. And um, I don't let the chickens out like I was because they love anything red. They love the color red. And I just don't want to turn my back and have them um, eat up my tomatoes. So, this morning, I was taking the pitchfork and going around here. And I found ants down here. I was taking the pitchfork and going up and just pushing the dirt up some so that some air could get to these onions roots and uh, they are I'm still going around as the rain and pushing away I, I took uh, a seven dust um, if you don't get the ants out of your garden especially with potatoes they will eat on it and cause them to rot now I've never seen them in onions before so I thought if I would just disturb the soil Ants don't like to be disturbed, but um, I just put some seven dust on it because these onions have got a ways to go. I'm just surprised that they are still doing as good as they as they do, or as good as they are. Um, once again, I'm still going around pushing pushing that dirt away. The sun is so bright out here; I can't tell if my video shot is good, but. Um, yeah, so the thing I've noticed is that um, it's so hot now. It's, the squash should be over. They kind of droop during the daytime. And uh, I'm still holding on to these squash. But once it cools off, they bounce back. Now, y'all, this morning, I finally got a squash, y'all. I finally, if I can get in here, I finally... I finally got a squash. I hopefully, oh, look. Let me just go ahead. Yeah, because it's, it's ready. Looking at the skin of the, the peeling. And, you know, usually the first ones, they don't grow as big. But this is my first squash. So, it's, it's little. It's only one. But I, I can take this in the kitchen and I can use it 
for something, in something. But actually also you can just cut it, wash it, and cut it up and just dip it, put it in a salad or just dip it in some ranch. It'll be awesome. So what a, my okra are doing fantastic. And the beans are doing fantastic. Everything is just taking off because we finally, finally got enough sun around here that things can just grow like they're supposed to. I really think it was the rain with these uh, these squash that was creating a problem. I thought I'd seen a bell pepper. Yep, there's a bell pepper right there. I'm trying to get it not break my plant. So that one's gonna grow for a couple more days. Um, depending on how fast it grows, whether, when I'll pick it. These beans are really taking off too. Now to show you how much rain we've had, I've only had to water this garden myself two times. So I've very been very fortunate not to have tomato rots, uh, the rot, rot in place on my tomatoes. Now, I did find one this morning. And this right here, I, I went ahead and picked it. Uh, I'll just watch it. And, you know, something like this, you can go ahead and cut the rotten part out. If you want to eat fried green, green fried tomatoes, I'm not much on that. But, you know, this is one of the things I was worried about while there's tomatoes. But they're doing excellent. Now, you got to find one or, or so when you have as much rain as we've had here into the south. Now, guys, look at all of these cucumbers. This is my first... I will say real picking. I did get about four, you know, and I could have let them grow a little bit. But I went ahead and picked these. And as I was over there a while ago, I seen that there's some more. So th it, this doesn't look like that many. But actually, that is a good, good batch right there to do um, some pickling or some relish. Because, you know, you don't want to get overloaded with cucumbers. And, and then you kind of get tired of doing it. But if you do it in spurts, you know, pick it like this right here, then it's not as bad. Once these are cut up, it's going to be a lot more than it looks like right here. And I didn't count how many is in there, but you see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen. And I saw some more over there. So I'm going to pick those. And that's a good amount to be starting out, to starting out pickling. Well, y'all, I just want to encourage you. Got me a squash. Um, just want to encourage you today. If you're having problems with your plants and it seems like you just want to pull them up and 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 you know, I'm just here to encourage you, encourage you not to quit, not to park, don't throw in the towel. Give the plant a little chance, and most of the time those plants will pull through. Alright, y'all. God bless you. Oh, one more other thing. Back over there, I don't know if you can see it, but that is a raised flower bed that I am starting today. I actually was gonna do a video on it, but it has some camera problems, so oh well. But over there, guys, hopefully I will get a video on that. All right, and that's for potatoes. All right, y'all take care. Even though the season's late, don't quit, don't park, don't throw in the towel. Continue on and see what happens in your life. God bless you. Thank you for watching, and remember, make it a great day. God bless you from Never Alone Homestead. This is Cammie.